Here we're going to discuss the application to nonlinear loads. And in this case, the Thevenin and Norton equivalent circuits can be used to find the response of a two terminal nonlinear device, as shown here. The method of analysis is basically finding the IV characteristics associated with the device. So here, an interface is defined at the terminals of the nonlinear device, and the linear part of the circuit is reduced to a Thevenin equivalent, as shown here. So here are the IV characteristics associated with the source, in which you have the current on the vertical axis and V on the horizontal axis, and we note this equation here describes our Thevenin equivalent, our IV characteristics associated with the Thevenin equivalent. So for when we can take two points, well one is I is equal to zero. When I is equal to zero, then V is just equal to VT, shown here. And then when V is equal to zero, then that's what we call the I short circuit current, and that's just VT over RT. Here, this is known as the load line, and it's slope is negative 1 over RL. So that's associated with the source circuit shown here or the the Thevenin equivalent associated with the source circuit. Now we have the nonlinear device, the IV characteristics for it shown here. And then when we want to analyze the circuit we just overlap these two curves shown here. And the point where it intersects is known as the Q point, quiescent point, or the operating point. Okay, and again, this is known as the load line. So here's our equation for the shores. Here's the equation for the source circuit, and here's the equation of the nonlinear device. Basically, its IV characteristics is described by this equation. It could be a diode transistor, and we'll do that with an example next. So here we have these two lines once again intersecting at this point, and that's how we find the response of a nonlinear element using the IV characteristics. Now we'll show you an example in which we try to find the voltage, current, and power delivered to a diode, in which I'll describe and show you the schematic for that. <coughs> So here we have an application to nonlinear loads in which our load is a diode. So the first thing we need to do is find the Thevenin equivalent resistance looking back between these interface terminals. So finding the Thevenin equivalent, we basically take out the diode and we see that VOC, since there's no current going through this one home resistor, this is just a voltage divider, therefore VT is just equal to 100 due to this ohm, 100 ohm resistors and the sum of it of the series connection multiplied by this 5 volt source therefore that's just 1 half times 5 or 2.5 volts now to find the equivalent resistance looking back through the source circuit we short, basically short out the voltage source of 5 volts and we see this 100 ohm is in parallel so that the R equivalent in here for this one we'll call it REQ1 100 in parallel with 100 is just 100 times 100 all over 100 plus 100 the product of those two resistors divided by the sum of those two resistors and that's just 50 ohms. So therefore RT is equal to this 50 ohm plus 10 ohms or a total of 60 ohms. Now let me just paste in the equation for a Thevenin equivalent for the IV characteristics. Now we compare and substitute the values with this equation and we have I is equal to negative 1 over 60V 
plus vt over r t. Now we just take this equation and see the nonlinear equation intersects known as the Q point and that Q point will allow us to find the voltage current and power delivered to the diode. Since we haven't covered diode I'll just give you the intersection point or the Q point in which ID right here is equal to 15 milliamps and our voltage VD is equal to 1.6 volts. This is where if we take the equation, the nonlinear equation of the diode and intercept it with our load line we would have this point right here and that turns out to be what I'll just give you as ID of 15 milliamps and a VD of 1.6 volts. Therefore the power dissipated in the diode is just simply ID times VD which is equal to 15 times 10 to the minus 3 or 15 milliamps times 1.6 is equal to 24 milliwatts. Because of the nonlinear element the proportionality and superposition properties do not apply to this circuit. So if I increased my voltage or decrease my voltage, let's say I decreased it from 5 volts to 2.5 volts, the diode current and voltage do not decrease by one half. And that concludes this example of a nonlinear element.